Another update on the Turbo IS300. It's broken. Um, so I've tried quite a bit of things since we got it dyno tuned. Again, the tune was perfectly fine. We shut it off to take it off the dyno. Once we pulled it off the dyno, the car would never start again. It didn't even die. We shut it off, it wouldn't start again. So the cam sensor and the crank sensor do not sync up. So uh, the AEM basically shows us that they're not syncing, but both sensors still have give a reading. So I thought maybe the crank gear had a broken tooth or a bent tooth or something and the crank sensor wasn't reading accurately. So I said, let's tear it apart. And I didn't want to make a video of it because I've already have, I already made a DIY timing belt video. If you have questions about it, uh, you can watch this video here. So I put in a new timing gear off the crankshaft, put in a new crankshaft position sensor and same thing. So the way the car is wired, it's on AM infinity and uh, it's all tapped in here. It's all custom. There's no wiring harness or anything. So the crank, the sense, the sensor signals go from here to the stock ECU, which, as you can see, is all torn apart. And then from there goes to the AEM. So I thought maybe the stock ECU was interpreting that signal and doing something with it and sending it to the AEM wrong. So I snipped that wire to no avail. So we don't know what's wrong with the car. The sensors work but it's not lining up. Uh, the car is um, in time. The timing belt didn't slip or anything and I just redid it yesterday so it's still uh, it's perfectly in time and the car still doesn't start. So I'm making this video to ask you guys for your help, suggestions. Um, please drop a comment, shoot me a message. Let me know what you guys uh, think that may be the issue because I had Tony at UMS look at the car. He's the one that tuned it. He spent about six hours troubleshooting it, and he's known as the best tuner in the state of Arizona. And he didn't get anywhere with it. So I spent the last two days tearing it apart, looking for something wrong. Uh, like I said, I didn't find anything wrong, so I just threw new parts in it while I had it apart, just because I don't know the history of these parts. And we still don't know what's wrong with the car. So I'm reaching out to you guys. Hopefully you guys can give me a hint as to where to look and we can find out what's wrong with it. Then we can make some mad sick videos of track time and freeway pulls and the pulling on Corvettes. The anti-lag, you guys need to hear it. It's so much better than it used to be. It's so violent, it's louder than my guns. It's amazing. Uh, but we need to get the car running first. So please let me know what you guys think this issue could be.